sheds it off. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, hello, buddy. Oh, 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 hey. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Oops. Oh, okay. Oh, I'll go grab him. Don't worry. <laughs> Just getting down, just getting down, just getting down. Really rare to see, I've only seen that twice. Woo, good job, look at you. World's largest reptile, the saltwater crocodile. A dragon of the Amazon. You. You. Christian, I gotta, I gotta put this cap in there. You want to help me out? Sure. Okay. All right. Just take this. Let me unlock this gate right here. And we're. No, oh, no, no. It's okay. I'll, I'll go and just, just watch my back, Christian. Okay. If anything happens, just film with that iPhone. Okay. All right. Let's do a little bit of parkour. Parkour. All right. Moment of truth. Let's hope this uh, bigger cap works out for the overflow, so we can keep debris from going in. Oh no! It's too, it's too big. All right. Gotta get another one. You guys are being good today. What do you think of him? He's a big beast. Look at that tail. Ooh, hoo, hoo. What an awesome crocodile. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Aries is roughly about 10 feet long. Miss Toothy is about 8, 9 feet long. But she's a... Uh, She's got a lot of thickness to her. And you notice that she looks black right now? Cuban crocodiles can change their color within an hour so they can absorb more heat when it's too cold out. Yeah, Isn't that cool? Awesome. <laughs> what a beast. One day you'll be working with me, Tristan. We'll be grabbing crocs by the tail like this. Isn't Ziggy beautiful? Yeah. How about we hold a crocodile? Huh? Yeah. Yes. Ooh, look, yeah, look, look at, those at teeth, guys. Anakin. What do you think? Oh, it's Beautiful. World's largest reptile, the saltwater crocodile. That's so cool. He, he's pretty chill, even though my thumb was stuck in his mouth a week ago. But that, that was my fault. That was my fault. He's a beast. Okay, so I'm going to put some tape on his jaw so you guys can hold him. Are you excited? Yeah. <laughs> She's excited. <laughs> Look at this guy. Did you know that he's covered in special sensory organs that help him detect vibrations in the water? He's basically got a built-in sonar, like a submarine. Mm -hmm. Isn't that wild? See the little dots on the face? These tiny little dots are pressure receptors. How does he feel, Tristan? I'd say kind of squishy, kind of like soft. Right? And his belly's real soft, but the top is real hard. These are called osteoderms. They're solid bone used for armor, but they also act as a solar panel because he's a reptile and he relies on the sun for energy. They feel really good. Right? Isn't that cool? I actually have an osteoderm in the house. I'll show you later. And look at that. These are the scoots on the tail. This is what I love about them. It looks like a dragon. How cool is that? And if you look at the belly, lift that chest up like that. If you look at the belly, you can see every scale has a dot. Those are all pressure receptors. See what I meant? He can sense you by his butt. Isn't that crazy? And he's pretty nice for a saltwater crocodile besides the fact he bit me a couple weeks ago. <laughs> She's ready. You gotta. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, or back here a little bit more, a little bit. Right here on the chest so he's nice and comfortable. Yeah, there you go. You're yeah. holding the world's biggest reptile. What do you think? It's pretty crazy, huh? Wild. Get jacked! <laughs> Look, just gent gently and go, Don't worry about the a thing, cause every, every little, little thing. thing. Sing, Tristan. You're not singing, he's freaking out. Yeah. You're, you're, you're making this happen. Making this is this is all on you right now. <laughs> Look at him, he's so cool. Giant Eurasian eagle owl on your arm. What do you so think? Soft. Would he you say, soft. would you say he's quite talented? Yes. <laughs> Who's next? Me. Oh yeah. Woo, good job, look at you. Isn't it crazy? This guy can take down a full grown red fox or a feral cat, even other types of owls they'll hunt down. I just can't believe you're holding this almost five pound owl all on your own. Are these ears? Those are actually tufts. They're not the actual ears. The real ears of an owl, right here on the side of the facial plate, the ears are hidden inside. Oh, so if I pull apart the feathers, you can actually see that there's an ear in there hidden. What do you guys think of Bagoy? Is this everything you thought it'd be? It was amazing. Yes, best Mother's Day ever. ever. Awesome. Cameo home three. Get what I say to my friend. Mmm. Mmm. Oh yeah. 
Oh yeah, there you go, Kamel Humphrey. Are you excited? You're gonna have a brother soon. Goodness gracious, there's a fire. Just another day in Florida. <laughs> All right, my beautiful people. I am currently on my way to see Stacy, one of the most badass wildlife keepers in the game. You probably remember her from previous videos, hanging out with Fred at Fred's house, digging up holes, making crock pits and stuff. She's currently planning on moving out of country and she wanted her old black melanistic water monitor to go to a good home and oh, oh, that's me, baby. Oh, oh, oh. He's about two foot long. He's coming with a decent sized cage. So he'll have a setup for now. And uh, we'll, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, and she said that her family ordered sushi and I could have some. So, mm -hmm. oh, good for me. All right, here we are, guys, with Stacy, the ultimate animal keeper. Stacy, you're on a top secret mission. You can't tell us where you're going, but you're, you're leaving the country? You're, you're leaving us? You're leaving just, America? Just skedaddling for a little while. To, to, to save the world? What are you going to be doing? What are you going to be doing? Are you, are you a spy now for the government? Top secret mission. We've talked about this. I can't say anything. Comment below. Is she going to assass... I mean, never mind. What's up, puppy? You're, you better back up. I heard this lizard's not too friendly. So what's the monitor's name again? Cassare. And I um, did some research, and it's a type of, I think, Thai water god. So I felt that was kind of appropriate. Oh, that's so cool. He's all black. Wow. Ooh. And you said he was at Ooh. Oh, hello, buddy. Oh, 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 hey. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Oops. Oh, oh, hey. I'll go grab him. Don't worry. <laughs> all right, Stacy's going to tickle him out from the dresser. Got him. Sorry, buddy. Here, take the camera for me. Sorry, buddy. I got him by the neck. I'm sorry. Uh, sorry, buddy, but I cannot trust you right now. I know you're cranky. He's beautiful. Yeah. He looks great. What have you been giving him? All sorts of stuff. He gets like shrimp, little mice every now and then. He probably eats lizards. Oh, wow. He's got some eggs. cobwebs on him, but he's beautiful. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh wow. And he's for sure a boy? Yeah, I think so. Guys, I'm not strangling him or anything. I'm just holding him gently behind the head so he doesn't bite me. Uh, but he's just cranky. He's never been held behind the neck. Obviously super defensive, but I can't take the risk of getting bit by him. He will slice you open down to the bone and I don't need reconstructive surgery. Don't get monitors like this as first beginner reptiles. These are like expert level. They will bite you. They will put you in the hospital and they need lots of space and good diet to be happy and healthy. He looks great though. You've been doing a good job. Thanks. Well, you've had him for like a year? Uh, almost uh, two years, I think. Oh my God. He's a little beast. Mm -hmm. So we'll, we'll keep him in the enclosure you got, and then we'll make like a big outdoor enclosure and Perfect. then work with him over time. And then when you come back to Florida, you can come hang out with him and- Be hey, double size. Hey, when you decide to live back in Florida, we'll hook you up with a baby lace monitor because Jack's been making babies. Woo! All right, my beautiful people. We got this enclosure nice and secure, extra staples along the wire to make sure there's no gaps that you can muscle out of. And we got a huge water bowl so you can submerge because Asian water monitors love to swim. Big water dish. He can hide underneath all that mulch. There's about a couple inches, so he can stuff himself underneath there. We're gonna get a hide in later. But for now, this will be the setup. He can climb up, he can bask, he gets sun, he gets shade, it's perfect. And he'll just be in here for a little bit. And then once we build him a new enclosure, we're gonna put the rhino iguana in here so she can be outside, or he can be outside. He will be outside. Yes. Ski! He's literally a velociraptor. Thank you so much, Stacy. What an awesome gift. I'll take great care of him and her family can come and visit him for years to come. Mm -hmm. He's definitely on edge, completely understandable because of our first experience, but it's okay. We're just gonna put him in his enclosure. He can sleep in the water. He can sleep underneath the mulch. Oh, dude, he just bit that. Hopefully no retaliation. Just get him to go right into his enclosure. There you go, buddy. It's all you. Don't turn around on me. And then tomorrow we'll see, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow we'll see how he's doing. I'm not chasing him around the pool deck right now. There we go. He's got a nice big water dish. He'll probably go to sleep in that water tonight. Typically Asian water monitors will sleep in the trees, burrows, and even in shallow water. Especially when they're big and confident. They don't care about anything messing with them. What a beautiful lizard. Old black melanistic water monitor. You look at this badass photo I got at Crocfest. Cuban crocodiles. Of course I had to get that. And then bam, look at this, a big bone clone of a Nile crocodile skull. That is badass. So not a real skull, just a clone of a skull. So cool. Crocfest was a success. We literally raised over $60,000 for Garial Conservation for the Garial Ecology Project so they can continue doing their work in India until 2024 when the Indian government takes over the funding for the project. So it was badass, enjoy these clips. We had 
I think we had too good of a time. Guys, look at this. This is like a 14 foot saltwater crocodile male. This is what Anakin, my crocodile, is gonna turn into in the next 10, 12 years. A monster saltwater croc. Look at his teeth. They're thicker than my thumbs. This animal has upwards to 5,000 pounds per square inch pressure. That's like two and a quarter, three times more than a great white shark's bite. One day we're gonna be hand feeding a croc like this. Yo, look at all these Siamese crocodiles here at the crocodile farm. That's wild. Look at this gharial. Oh my God. You can't even see its snout from this angle. It's so skinny. Why does the base of his tail look like that? We got a young photographer here <laughs> getting a shot of a beautiful gharial. Wow. This is what we're raising money for, guys. The Indian Gharial <laughs> for the Gharial Ecology Project. What do you think, Blake? I think it's very cool. What else do you have to say? Um, that I like. How's it going? It's going good. Nice mole. You look like Alex. Hello. Oh. 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 Come to me, pretty. Come to me, pretty. His teeth look good. I think so too. Yeah. They get a 10 out of 10 for teeth here. Good teeth. I Good crops. I don't, think, I don't think you should be. I don't. Shut up, Alex. <laughs> I'm going to talk to your doppelganger. Cool. What's up? Let's get one more shot of this Gariel's teeth. Oh, 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 oh. Duff's getting down. 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 Oh my god, baby spoonbills. Oh, look at them. They're just like, uh, uh, please uh, give me something. What did you just say? No. <laughs> I'm gonna get the bellow on film. Oh, He's about it. to do. Oh, whoa! That was a jaw clap. That's actually really rare to see. I've only seen that twice in my whole entire life. I've seen it three times. I've seen it once. Shut up, Blake. <laughs> Rookie. Rookie. <laughs> Four times for me. Well, I'm from Florida, not like you said. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, guys, look, this alligator is missing a leg. He's, he's handicapped. What do you think? Nice belly, bro. I spilled something on my shirt. You're an uh, alcoholic. Hey, Florida Legacy. Read it. Do you Go get paid it. to show that off? Yeah, I do. I do. Give me I some. Do. Give me some money. Stuff doesn't need your stuff. Guys, look, Justin Brown's over here. Jesus like Christ. <laughs> 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 like, what the Boom! <laughs> Sorry, bro. Look, Justin Brown. Justin Brown has a mole in the back of his head. <laughs> I do, right here. <laughs> Give me a ski you. Ski! Ski! Fuck it. Eh, Ryan, what do you have to say? Ski! Oh, what's happening uh, at the in October? Uh, oh, we got Scales Reptile Expo coming in October. South Florida? Let's go. Oh, what do you guys say, Julia? What's this? What is this? What, what is, is this? This is a reptile and fish expo coming to South Florida Fairgrounds October 21st and 22nd. Has anyone That's ever told you how beautiful your eyes are? Oh, Sorry, I've had a couple thank beers. You. I want to kiss October your October 25th is my birthday too, so. Shut up. It is. <laughs> Two going once. Seven hundred going twice. Seven hundred! Soccer. Why are you guys staring at me? Seven fifty. So, number seventy-three. Woo! Give me that! Give me a kiss. It's another successful croc fest. I'll see you guys at Animal Con and I'll see you guys at the Daytona Reptile Show. And I, you know what? I'm just gonna start showing up to every event because I love seeing you guys so much. What do you think, Bagoy? Do you want to come to some of these events? That means no. All right, beautiful people. I finally got the perfect overflow cap so we can keep debris from clogging up their overflow pipe. Aries and Miss Toothy are having a good day. She thought this was food at first, but I think she realizes we're good now. You can see Aries' teeth look amazing. Look how thick and white they are. They're perfect looking. All from good diet and good water quality. And you can see the water looks nice. It's flowing through properly. We got that pipe to clog. All the little mosquito fish are moving around. All you gotta do is bloop, just like that. There we go. This will keep all those big chunks of debris from going in and clogging it up. So now, whenever things like this fall in the water, it won't clog that pipe. Perfect. Whoa! All right, I'm done. All right, let's feed some crocodiles. We got guapo right here. Guapo, hold. No, 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 no. 
Relax. Hold. Good boy. There you go. Big old rat. Slam it down. Guapo, the Cuban crocodile. We're just gonna feed all the little crocodilians today. Let's go. Layla's an American crocodile. You hungry? There we go. Beautiful crocodilus acutus. Native to Florida, found in the Keys, found in Central and South America, and they're one of the biggest crocs on the planet, getting upwards to 18 plus feet. No, I don't have any food for you guys today. I gotta feed Ziggy. Y'all are looking pretty thick anyways. Woo hoo, Ziggy. There we go. Slamming down rats like nothing. She is a beast of a crocodile. Look at that face. Is that not one of the most beautiful crocodiles you've ever seen in your life? There you go, slamming them. These guys still want food. Hey, no, relax, relax. Look at Miss Toothy. Her teeth are insane. Curved back like a velociraptor. Beautiful, critically endangered Cuban croc and a Nile crocodile, Cuban crocodile hybrid. Look how nice Aries teeth look. Oh my goodness. Look at those teeth. You beast of a croc. All right, everyone's happy, everyone's fat. Let's give Nadia the last of the rats. Easy. There you go, right in the air, she caught it. What a beast. Siamese crocodile, critically endangered from Asia. I told you I don't have any food. some deep cleaning baby we're gonna get in here we're gonna be taking care of skittles the ethiopian cobra aka the oh, aka the egyptian cobra she just shed she looks beautiful after shedding out that old skin when a reptile wants to grow it breaks out of that old skin sheds it off Woo -hoo -hoo! and she's an african snake so you gotta be careful with her she flies all over the place look how big she's gotten she's definitely grown a lot look at that beautiful Ethiopian Cobra, watch her head up. Ooh, she's super defensive, but she's a good snake. She's just doing her job and that's to defend herself and survive because in Africa, everything tries to eat you and you gotta know, ooh, you gotta have a little bit of a charisma to survive out in Africa. And you got jackals and lions and leopards and monitor lizards trying to eat you every day. Look at that, she's hissing, she's upset. Let's get her straight into the can, nice and easy. Relax, ooh, relax, relax. Notice she's got like a beautiful orange and purple coloration to her, an earthy texture. Woo! <laughs> she's got an earthy color to her because of the, all the terrain out there. It's going to be like red rock, earthy looking like that. All right, we got a cleaner enclosure. Got all kinds of shed in here. Woo! It's, uh, it smells a bit in here. Just like the, the mambas from Africa, the Ethiopian cobra's poo smells like ramen noodle season. Isn't that strange? <sighs> Goodness, it makes me hungry. What do you think? Mmm. Mmm. Chicken. Chicken. Woo, nice and clean. We can put this beautiful snake back. Let's see what she's up to. Look at her. She is a beast of a cobra. Ooh, you're so cranky. Hello. Whoa! Going for a crotch bite, I see. You are a cranky girl. Look, she's got a knuckle puffed up. Just letting me know I am not messing around. Put me back or I'm gonna lay you out. Yes, yes, yes. I'm sorry. There you go, baby. Isn't she a beautiful snake? Nice and clean. There we go, locked and secure. I'm sorry, relax, look at her, she is. You, look at that. What an, ooh, what a gnarly snake. Okay, time to clean Justina and then the Bushmaster! Justina, Justina, why you gotta be so mean on? No, she's not mean. She's defensive, you can't blame her. She lives in an enclosure that's not that deep, so it's pretty shallow. She feels cornered. So in defense, she comes out fully loaded, ready to go. Oh, she's actually deep in shed right now. We have a problem. It looks like she's got eye caps going on, but you know what? She just started shedding. She's basically blind right now. I think what we'll do is... I think for right now what we'll do is get her out, clean her, let her shed on her own, and then in the next day or two, if she struggles to get all that shed off, what we'll end up doing is just soaking her and making a soaking video. Ooh, look at her. 
She's a big female king cobra. I mean, look at the size of this thing. What's up, Mama? Ooh, it's okay, Mama. Look, she's completely blind. Flaking eye caps. She's got skin. Ooh, skin coming off. Look at that. Flaky skin. All right, so we're not going to do much right now. We're going to let her be. I'm going to clean her enclosure. And then we'll soak her in the next day or two. We'll work with her then. But right now, we just want to make sure she has a nice, clean environment. So I'm just going to spot clean a little bit. Get a little bit of that spicy meatball out of here. Yeah, baby. She should the tail just a little bit, but that's about it. So she'll definitely need a soaking. We'll do that for the next episode. All right, good to go. Just did a little spot clean. We got her some fresh water. You, you can see she's not too accurate with the strikes. She's just going by a little bit of movement. It's okay, mama. It's okay. Oh, All right, sure. Woo, cranky girl. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Look at that little thing right there. Just a little bit of skin coming off. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Woo! She is not messing around. Listen to her growl. Listen to that modified trachea. The only snake on the planet that has a modified trachea that allows it to growl, letting predators know to stay away. You! Always be a step ahead while handling these snakes. That's why nobody should replicate what I do. If I didn't know what I was doing, I would have been bit right there. Ooh, what a beast of a female king cover. You can see why this is my favorite type of snake on the planet. The smartest, the most athletic, and they are the king of all the other snakes, eating other venomous snakes like monocled cobras, eating reticulated pythons, the world's biggest snake, and even monitor lizards, the smartest lizards on the planet, they're eating them up like snacks. Come on, right in there. Back inside. Come on. Back inside. Woo! All right, lock that nice and secure. No big deal, just uh, another day in the office, am I right? <laughs> You're sweating a little bit, I see your eyebrows sweating. Got a new camera guy, <laughs> last one didn't do so well. Woo! All right, now we're dealing with my little female Bushmaster. Just like clockwork, she went to the bathroom and shed her skin at the same time. They are known to do this. It's kind of like a green tree python. They wait till a certain time of the month when they're feeling all stuffed, and then they poop and they shed all in one sitting. You can see she's got some size to her. We're feeding her really good. So hopefully, eventually, this Bushmaster will be around 12 feet long, being the biggest viper on the planet from South America in the Amazon with a special scalation where their scales feel like pineapple. Look, it feel like a pineapple surface. How amazing is that? I've raised this thing from a little baby, so she's pretty relaxed. She just has a really bad feeding response, which is what I have to watch out for when dealing with her. Look at that. Is that not a beast of a viper? Look at this beautiful snake. How can you not love the Bushmaster? Woo! What a badass snake. All right, let's get her right into the can. Nice and easy. Really happy to see her putting on some weight. Just figured out that she's just better off with live. Sadly, she likes to eat live rats. I don't like to feed live, but sometimes with venomous snakes, you don't really have a choice. Preferably, if you can, always feed frozen dog because it's safe for your animals. Rats, even though they're food for snakes, rats will retaliate and eat a snake if the snake doesn't eat it in time. So it's a, it's a snake eat rat, rat snake eat world. You understand what I'm saying? It's a rat rat. All right, we got this spicy meatball right here. Just going to wrap it up and get it ready to go. There we go. Oh, we got like a whole Bushmaster shed, actually. Look at this. Oh, cool. I think we got the whole shed right there. Oh, ooh, I just broke it. <laughs> I'm sure somebody will still want it. I'll keep it aside for somebody. I'm going to get this nice and clean, and I'll see you guys in a split. <laughs> ooh, ooh, what you going to do, Logan Paul? Ow! Another Bushmaster Fang has shed. How crazy. And to think that she's still a baby and that Fang is that long. Ah! Just kidding. Woo! <laughs> Time to fold, fold this little beautiful Fang back. All right, we're gonna take this little Bushmaster, Lechesis Muda, AKA Silent Death, because they don't have a rattle to let you know they're there and sometimes people get bit in the middle of the night. Look at this beautiful snake. They say that there's a, ooh, they say that there's a 
85 to 90 percent fatality rate for when you get bit by a snake like this but i know this individual she's not some random wild snake and i know her body language she's being pretty good look at her. how cool is that snake a dragon of the amazon the bushmaster bushmaster love her to bits and pieces all right let's get her into her enclosure there we go nice and easy it's great to see her grow right in there there we go i wish you guys could feel this thing it feels literally like the outside of a pineapple or a spur thigh tortoise's butt there you go go visit duff does nature stuff and go pet bob in the butt locked and secure good to go Next, we're gonna be dealing with Meatball, that Colette Snake, my favorite guy. Look at him, he's so red and beautiful. Found in Queensland, Australia. Nowhere else on the planet. So in all of Australia, of all the four territories, only one territory you can find them, and they're underground most of their life. So reptile hunters never seem to find these snakes. There we go. Oh, he's on the move today. Usually he's a lot more laid back. Look at that beautiful red Colette Snake. How freaking cool is that? He's not too bad. Woo! Not much of a biter. Raised him from a little baby, but I do not want to take the risk of letting him get too comfortable with me because this snake is in the top 15 most venomous on the planet. They say if you get bit by this snake, it takes away your sense of smell and taste for the rest of your life. Also, there's a good chance I might even survive that bite. All right, let's get this beautiful Colette snake right into the can, nice and easy. He's gone big. I got him at two feet long, and now he's probably about five plus feet. Beautiful front fix fanged alapid. Super cool snake. All right, time to clean meatballs, spicy meatballs. Ah, perfect. The best H2O. Mm. The best. So, time to put my friend back. Mr. Meatball, the collect snake, my favorite kind of guy. Look at him. He is such a stunning, dark looking snake. Come here, buddy. You're not in a bad mood, are you? Look at him. He's always hissing a little bit. He's a little upset. What an incredible animal. This guy would be eating other venomous reptiles out in the outback, monitor lizards. They are a true predator. Front fix fang, neurotoxic Colette snake from Australia. Whoop. Hopefully one day we could find this snake in the wild with Ricky Mac from the outback. I was supposed to go for my birthday to Australia, but as you know, I decided to get a camel instead. So we'll be seeing Ricky hopefully later this year. Chris Sweet. And some friends in Borneo as well, like Diaz. Oh, we're gonna get so crazy. Hopefully we finally find a wild king cobra in the wild because I've been to multiple countries, multiple years now, and still haven't found a wild king cobra. So eventually, ooh, look at this, Kobe, the black mamba. He's probably over six feet long, but just to make sure, we're gonna clean his enclosure. We're gonna take him out right now. He's been eating and pooping and eating and shedding, getting massive. So let me just gently Coax him, see how he's doing. So far, he seems pretty calm. Ooh, no, 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 he's going quick today. Come on. He's gonna move some of his stuff around, try to hook him out of there. There we go. Come on, buddy. He's becoming a nice, mature-looking mom, though. Look at that. Nice and easy, buddy. Nice and easy, come here. Woo, look at that! He is not a baby anymore. That is probably a six, plus foot black mama. Whoa, he's way longer than I remember. So I'm about six feet tall. He must be like six and a half foot right now. Wow, that's crazy. Remember when we got Kobe? He was inside a deli cup. Holy smokes. He's ready to make some babies too. So by next breeding season, we'll stick him with Allison and make some baby black mambas. We just need to make sure we have a good place for all those mambas to go before trying to breed them. There we go, get him right into there. He's an arboreal snake, so of course he's gonna wanna try and get out of there. Just gonna re-guide him into the can. There we go, nice and secure black mamba caught inside the snake folding receptacle. What can I say, we're so professional out here, can't even handle it. All right, I'm gonna get knuckled deep in these spicy meatballs. I'll see you guys in a second. Yeah! Ow! All right, let's put this black mamba back. Just gotta crack this open. There we go. Woo, look at that. He's hanging out right at the top. Kobe is not a snake to play with. He is a beast of a black mamba. I mean, he might be like nearly seven feet. Like, look at him. Ooh, you hear him 
Ooh, he's hissing. He's hissing. Look at that. What an intense snake. The black mamba. Let's get him right into his enclosure. Please, Kobe, don't choose violence. Go back home. There we go. He's getting big. He's just about ready for his future wife, Alice in the Black. Ooh, Alice in the Black Mom. You're missing. They have like such a unique kiss. It's like, something like that. But it's very intimidating. Locked and secure. Good to go. That's going to be it for this episode, baby. I hope you enjoyed all these random clips. New Black Dragon, Croc Fest. We raised $60,000 for the critically endangered Gary L. So they can keep doing conservation work out in India. Woo! Nothing but good stuff. Spread the good vibes. Spread the love. And I will see you on the next one. Stay beautiful. Stay safe. And most of all, follow your dreams. Do what you love in life. Because life is short. Just have fun. I love you guys. And I'll see you on the next one. Wow. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Oops. Oh, hey. I'll go grab him. Don't worry. <laughs>